Before Crohn's disease turned her world upside down, Lindy Lou Carnell was a typical 14-year-old, a Justin Bieber fan with a beautiful smile. But things went south quickly. When I look back when my mom shows me pictures and videos, it's kind of really hard yeah. to think that that was me. When my child got sick, we did what every, every parent does. You take them to the hospital. Children's Hospital here in Cincinnati. We spent three Christmases, three Thanksgivings, three New Year's. I mean, every holiday, every single month, we were impatient. I slept in a chair beside her bed and never left. And for a long time, Tiffany Carnell never questioned the heavy drugs and many of these pill bottles that doctors prescribed for her daughter. I failed her because I did not read all those warnings and everything. And when it says may cause death, they're not kidding. But when Lindy's care team began removing organs from her body, her mom wondered if chemicals in her daughter's pain meds were doing more harm than good. And eventually her bladder and kidney was shut down and she couldn't go to the bathroom. She was on Dilaudid, which is seven times stronger than heroin. That's when Tiffany Carnell heard about kids whose families say they've been helped by medical marijuana. And then I got educated on the world of cannabis. You know, and then I was like, I want to give this to my child. The initial response from doctors? You can't do that. It's federally illegal. <laughs> But Tiffany Carnell kept advocating for a new approach to control Lindy's pain. When you're on that high of pain medication, you're kind of in a daze and you just kind of feel like you're floating around. Eventually, this duo says doctors at Children's Hospital agreed to give Lindy Marinol, a synthetic form of cannabis. We saw wonderful results. I mean, I began then campaigning for the freedom of cannabis. It's a campaign fully supported by Lindy Carnell, who's made a remarkable recovery. My thing would be, would you rather take something that's going to give you the munchies and make you hungry, or would you rather take something that's going to put you in organ failure? She's on all natural now and healthier now than she has been. She's a miracle. Thank you, God. Now, it's important to point out that marijuana is still illegal at the federal level. Because of that, researchers can't even do clinical trials. Both Tiffany Carnell and her daughter want lawmakers to remove cannabis from the list of federally banned drugs. Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. Todd, thanks for that.